And right now, we are probably supporting six assets on Startnet, um, four stable coins, uh, or three stable coins, and then uh, ease, rapidly ease, and BDC. And we're looking to support much more. Um, for example, we're having a discussion with uh, other um, protocols to support the tokens on an isolated pool basis, um, and um, all the difficult different features that I mean, cool new features that we have in terms of, for example, leveraging multi calls to basically have a one click feature for um, withdrawal for repayment. I think these are all small features that will actually add to the user experience. In order to celebrate the Stark Token launch. And and to warm up the old StarkNet ecosystem for the upcoming DeFi Spring, ZK Land is running the Stark Fall campaign, where they're offering up to 20% API on your Stark tokens, starting from today until Saturday, February 24th, closing at 7 UTC. To get the juice yield on your Stark, just head to app.zkland.com, look for the Stark Fall window and click on deposit. There, you'll be able to choose how many Starks you want to supply, and once you're ready, click on Supply Stark, relax and enjoy your yield. This is not financial advice. Make sure to read the ZKLand terms and conditions. I think I can touch a little bit more on our 2024 roadmap too, because I um, haven't, haven't had a chance to go into um, what we're looking at towards the future. So I think for the StartNet tokens coming coming live with the liquidity pumping up, um, DeFi definitely, it's going to be very exciting. We have CKX coming on board very, very nicely time. And then um, a lot of different um, DEXs and um, perps that are also um, being being uh, uh, coming onto mainnet uh, very, very soon. So I think for DeFi, for gaming, I think these are all very, very cool narratives that um, as a lending protocol, as a liquidity layer, we want to support. So. Um, so some sort of things that we are catering specifically for this is basically um, a no-brainer for us would be isolated markets, basically supporting new ecosystem tokens, for example, the tokens of ZKX, um, for example, Lords for Gaming. And these are all basically to um, enable the liquidity, the, the borrowing and lending of these ecosystem tokens in a very isolated manner. So then the risk don't spill over to the main, um, uh, main markets and we're able to um, provide a much more flexible um, in incentive, a much more flexible um, interest rate curve and also collateralization ratio. Um, and adding on top of it, uh, because we know that the risk management for these type of isolated pool will be um, slightly more um, advanced. So we will be working with um, guys like Nimbora, Nimbora or other new strategy to actually um, create vaults so that there will be asset allocation and risk management being added on top of um, CKLens market. And I think lastly, what we want to do um, in the middle of this year would be to leverage the, the power of um, my, uh, the native account and multiple uh, multi-call. So enabling um, transactions builder so that we will be able to uh, modulize different DeFi um, transactions into uh, one single sign off. I think this is something that um, has to be done on Starnet and uh, it's something that um, it's just a no brainer for um, all the DeFi protocols to really strive towards a very streamlined user experience. Um, I, I, I think um, definitely all the DeFi protocols here are um, basically OGs and um, would love to see every one of us um, just uh, really shines and uh, and, and uh, excel in this new era. And I think we all have um, the right ingredients to um, own our, our piece of the market and basically take it to the next level. I think StarNet has a lot of potential still um, to be uncovered. And I think a lot of the new updates, for example, Paymaster and things like that, I think these are all haven't been really touched on, but they're fantastic and phenomenal powerful features um so um i'm very excited i will leave some more updates for um the other guys to cover so i don't um take up everything